guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. We're out here in Palm Springs, California for a bunch of truck action, and there's also some major construction action going on, but you know what? The show must go on, and we are here, like I said, to bring you some trucks. We're gonna start off with this one. This is a updated, changed up, refresh 2022 Chevrolet Silverado, but guess what? This isn't any Silverado, this is the high country. But before we get into this full size, full luxury pickup truck, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet, that brand, the bow tie, really bringing a variety of vehicles. And of course their trucks have been one of the go-tos for so many decades for so many people. Now, obviously in the 21st century, the name of the game has changed when it comes to trucks. Lots of trucks be bringing luxury items, luxury amenities, and finishes like never ever seen before in the industry. Lots of competition, of course. This being an American brand, we have another American brand to compare it to. I want to go ahead and not only show you what these new touches are for 2022, not only on the Silverado, but on the high country in particular, but I also want to compare it to that other top dog, the Ford F-150 Limited, to see if Chevy did enough for this 2022 model year to bring the highest level of luxury, but also that truck capability to your garage. So let's go ahead, like I said, let's find out what's new with the 2022 High Country Silverado and see is it the better truck to buy over the F-150 Limited? Let's find out. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna see the changes and it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks in a very good way. So we have updated headlight housings, updated lighting, and even updated daytime running lamps. You'll notice how they really thickened the whole daytime running lamp up. That's also your turn signal. You got your new style of LED headlights. Chrome finish makes sense because of this being the high country. And then working your way down, you'll see that unique style to the way they do the front end, especially with the corner air curtains. These are functional. I do like the way it's got these horizontal bars, but what's nice is it's gonna help channel that air, clean up the airflow down the side of the vehicle. Definitely, you could tell it's a Silverado, but I'm liking the direction that they went in. Of course, we got this beautiful white pearlescent paint that pops like a diamond. Love the way it's color matched on the metal bumpers and on the front fascia itself. And then coming across the front, we got a new updated grill. We got the high country name stamped in there, like forged from a piece of solid steel. You got the massive bow tie, that Chevrolet bow tie. And then you'll notice this being a high country, this particular grill with the dark bronze accents on each of the levels. Now, as we go all the way down to the bottom portion, of course, you're gonna need some tow hooks. And we have these nice polished chrome tow hooks on both sides, A little bit of silver trim, kind of makes everything come together, but these tow hooks are gonna be used to help pull those F-150s, those Ram 1500s, and heck, even the new Toyota Tundra help pull it out of the dirt and the mud. You do get a forward facing camera with a washer. So not only does this truck have the looks, it's got the technology that you want when you're doing truck like things. Maybe just cruising around the parking lot of your favorite mall or doing some work stuff. But I really like the way they refreshed and kind of brightened things up. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're getting that bold Chevy Silverado hood with the bulge in the center. That's what every guy and girl wants out of their truck is a nice bulge. You're gonna see some numbers and some letters. What does it mean? 6.2 liter, we got the big boy. This is that 6.2 liter V8 underneath the hood. Very classy way of putting the badging right on that bulge. Now, as we come around the bend, the great news is when you're looking at the high country, no flat black plastic. Everything is painted in that beautiful pearlescent white color. What do we got for 2022? New wheels. Love the metallic silver, the chrome inserts, and guess what? This is a 2022. This is a 22 inch wheel. So when you go high country, you're going big with this 22 inch wheel. I like the way they got this center cap, kind of cleans up the whole wheel, gives it a nice dynamic look, and covers up all the lug nuts. 
And if you're wondering, Joe, what's the size of this thing? 275 on the width, 50 series sidewall, and like I said, just perfectly balanced. Now, if you're comparing this to an F-150, I would say probably the biggest thing I could say about the F-150 is that it looks a little bit more like what people imagine as a truck. You look at the front of this, this one looks a little bit more modern, whereas the F-150 has some of those traditional lines. So something that you're gonna have to balance on what you like, but 22 inch wheels, that's nothing to laugh about. Coming down the side, you do have that classy high country badge. Everything is chrome. So if you don't like chrome, you may not love the high country trim, at least when it comes to the badges, but it kind of makes sense. Just like on a GMC, Sierra Denali to bring the chrome, they bring the chrome tenfold with this high country. Now new for 2022, we do have the chrome uh, aluminum finish on the mirror caps. And then of course, you're gonna get, you'll notice the 360 degree cameras and wait until you see the resolution and wait until you see the screen size that we got. We're gonna be showing it to you very shortly. Bright, shiny metal work along the bottom. I like the way it kinda, like, a, like a, a putter. We're here at Palm Springs, lots of golf courses. You got that putter style out the back. We got chrome on the door handles and then new for 2022 is this chrome strip just to add a little bit more depth, and you'll notice that bronze style cover with the Silverado name stamped into it. Watch this. Open up the door, wha-bam! What do we got? We got those electric dropping running boards. You close the door and then it tucks in nicely. And I think one of the things that I like over the Ford is how when they're tucked up, it looks like another design element. And then it becomes very useful when you open up the door. And then you could do things like this. You could jump on it like a trampoline. But those are the kind of things that you get to do with your truck. It's just those types of things that you get to do. Now working your way towards the back, you'll notice, of course, just like when this Silverado first came out in 2019, we got all swinging metal. So this is made out of metal, this door, it swings, all aluminum. That's gonna help uh, save weight. Of course, with the bed, you got that nice usable space. You can see that body on frame construction because you can actually see the freaking frame through the wheel well there. Lori doing a bang up job as always, of course. And then swinging around the back, we have some new touches. Check out the lights. I'm actually digging how this design on the bed actually flows into the taillights, LED taillights, the Silverado name. You got those nice steps built in, even if you have a Buffalo cowboy boot, not just a regular cow cowboy boot, but a Buffalo cowboy boot, you actually could get that in there no problem. Chevrolet all the way across, high country badging. Of course, if we have a nice color match front bumper, we have a nice color match rear bumper. I love the way they do the exhaust, nice and clean on both sides, functional exhaust for that V8. You got all your tow capability. And then what else do we have technology wise? Watch this, electric dropping tailgate. The only one like it. You pull it back up. I'm gonna look for the button. One, two, three. You get a little bit of a beep saying, hey, don't get your hand caught in there. But I'm gonna hit it again because I wanna show you the back of the truck. The way that everything is welded is to give you a little bit more width. We got LED lighting. You got your power source. Get your buzz saw, your chainsaw, whatever you got. You can plug it in there, jigsaw. We got all of our tie down locations and you have that power sliding rear window glass. But of course, I know you wanna see underneath that hood, so let's go ahead, let's pop the hood. Look at that, it's pretty cool, electric closing like that. Let's go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering this. Cell. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have those hydraulic hood struts. Now, unlike the Ford F-150 limited trim, which remember that has that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, what do we get? option in this one. This is that tried and true, naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 engine. So what are we talking about? We're talking about 420 horsepower. We're talking about 460 pound feet of torque. It's made it to a 10 speed slick shifting automatic transmission. MPGs 16 in the city, 20 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs about 5,000 441 pounds. And this is the great thing about trucks today is that a lot of them still have so many different engine choices you could go with. Nice to still see 
that 6.2 liter available. But like I said, comparing it to the F-150 Limited, you do have that twin turbo V6. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this Chevy and hear what it sounds like. Alright guys, we're inside this 2022 Chevrolet Silverado High Country trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, I'm liking the changes on the outside. I can't wait to see the changes on the inside. But of course, the big question is, how much does it cost? Very good question, especially if we're comparing this to the F-150 Limited. So MSRP on this Silverado High Country is going to be right around starting $58,000. Depending on the options, it could go a little over $70,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. So you'll notice new for 2022, we have a new color on the interior, that dark blue, very tasteful with the black accents. We got the open pour wood, a little bit of silver trim, and then you'll notice that nice contrast stitching, new high country badge to kind of give you that little extra touch. And then we got the Bose sound system with actual aluminum speaker grill covers. And then the door pocket. Notice the texture on the door pocket. It's almost like a perforated material all the way deep down into the door pocket. Easily get a full foot long armadillo sandwich and two Pepsis to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. The blue interior, really, really tasteful with the stitching. You'll notice the open pour wood. You can rub your wood and not worry about getting splinters in your fingers. Open that up. You could easily put five cowboy size Twinkies in there. Close that up. I love this bronze style material trim with the silver. And then look what we got. All new infotainment system. That's a 13.4 inch infotainment system. I love the way it's integrated. You got a place up here to keep a hot dog. You can keep it out in the California sun, nice and cooked in some aluminum foil. You got Google Maps as your operating software. Of course, full touchscreen. Really nice the way you can kind of scroll through different readouts on the right. And then, of course, we got everything in the center. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Cameras, clear as day. Crystal clear every which angle, especially when it comes to towing making life very easy. Speaking of towing, let me show you something that I like that they have, trailering. So you choose the type of trailer you're gonna pull, let's say conventional, and now you actually have your checklist to make sure you hook it up right so it doesn't unhitch and roll off the highway and just destroy everything. So nice to see that. We got our climate control. That takes a few seconds and you can see how you can adjust the dual climate control all from the screen. Plus we got our backup camera with that nice clear trajectory, the 360, easy peasy. On the lower end, you're gonna have that nice trim. You got your start stop button, your trailer release. We got ventilated seats, heated seats, which are two-way heated seats, just the back portion or the whole seat. And then you have a heated steering wheel. Love the way they have actual control knobs with a little bit of rubber grip so, so, grip so that your fingers don't slip. We have a perfect size here for some honey roasted peanuts, the favorite peanut of cowboys in California. And then on the side, you do have a banana holder and some more of that nice wood finish, two cup holders. And then there's your Chevy key fob. You got the remote start. You got your electric dropping tailgate, a place for some Mentos. This is gonna control that 10 speed automatic transmission, wireless charging, Real leather on the armrest with the stitching. Open this up and look at this. You got a party tray, nachos, put some, uh, maybe some sour cream dip uh, and, and some onion dip on the side. You got enough room in there for two footballs, two pigskins, or you could get two footballs made out of armadillo, armadillo shell. Very interesting what they do out here in Palm Springs. You have a home power source, a USB-C and a USB-A all inside this massive center console and then the seats high country embroidery the piping the stitching love the blue full electric assist for the passenger and the driver i guess the major zonk is going to be 
standard size sunroof. Would have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof. It also would have been nice to have some Alcantara on the headliner, but look what we got to finish it off. That cherry on top of our technology Sunday. We do have the digital rear view mirror, which really is great when you're backing up this larger truck. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this new digital display for the driver behind the wheel of the Silverado. All right, guys, you got your two memory seat settings for the driver's side. You do have that aluminum high country sill plate as you come in and out. And of course, we got the all weather floor mats to protect the beautiful carpet. There's all your electric seat controls, easy to get to. Steering wheel could be a little updated. It does have Super Cruise. So now you're gonna be able to get Super Cruise on your Silverado. That's what this is gonna display here at the top. Flat black on all the buttons, like that bronze style trim. You do have paddles to go up and down the 10 speed automatic. And it is electric tilt and telescoping steering wheel. But the great news is that full digital display, 12.3 inches. You could really scroll through all the different information that you need. But it's nice to see this technology finally make its way over to the Chevy. I got head up display and I'm six feet tall. Obviously plenty of room. Speaking of room, let's check out the back seat and see what we got for the passengers in this high country. Hi guys, back seat time in this Silverado. And really it's just crazy how much room is in the back seat of these new full size trucks. Of course, you're gonna get the leather all the way around. Nice large pocket here to where you could have those Buffalo chicken pizzas. You slide them in. We do have your two AC vents, which I wish they were a little bit larger because these are a little too small. So we're gonna zonk that. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats in the back. That's another zong, but you do have a USB-C, USB-A. I got my own pocket for my own pizzas. You can lift up the rear seat for that under seat storage. This is a great place to hide gifts from people so that they don't find them in the house. Pull down the armrest, nice and soft, two cup holders. And I love these rear seat storage areas. Easily put a box of Twinkies in there and they're not gonna bust any cream over this blue interior. But while we go ahead, speaking of busting, let's bust some on throttle in this V8 powered Silverado High Country. All right, guys, I lowered the steering wheel because I wanted you to be able to see the dash a little bit. There is that mode selector knob on the driver's side, and you could actually turn that to go into your different driving modes, whether you want off-road, sport, or of course, normal. And that allows you to really fine tune exactly what you want your high country to do. And I really like the graphics, really crisp graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in sport mode and we're gonna go on throttle from a dead stop. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. So you're gonna get that nice low V8 grunt, that linear torque delivery, and it pulls all the way cleanly through the rev range. That 10 speed automatic shifts so smoothly and so precise. It really is a great transmission. And if you're comparing this to the F-150, that limited trim, obviously GM and Ford work together with one another to develop that 10 speed automatic. The new infotainment system is massive, easy to get to, nice touchscreen capability, and the Google Maps is a pleasure to operate. And then of course that digital display, all the graphics, the colors and everything else, really, really super clear and very easy to function through. Seats feel good. Nice work that they did on the actual cushions themselves. And of course they're ventilated and heated. And then all the touches, when you go high country, you're gonna get that extra sense of class and style. And as we kind of cut across here, you do have some really great visibility with the digital rear view mirror. And then of course the visibility out the front, very, very clear, but on throttle, here we go. Of course, we're in rear wheel drive right now. And then you just go and push what you need for your four by four capability, whether it's too high, four low or four high, easy push button operation. But I really think if you're comparing this to the Ford, I, I love the way the infotainment system is in this new Chevy Silverado with these changes and the digital dash as well. 
Uh, I think I'm liking the infotainment more than in the F-150. And for sure, the Silverado smoke checks the F-150 when it comes to the clarity of the cameras. But visibility off the back is great. And then you got plenty of storage for all your passengers needs, whether it be snacks or whatever they got to bring with them for the day. You got plenty of room. In a full size truck, easy one hand operation on the steering wheel. So that's another thing is that driving this truck is not very difficult, especially if you have not been in a full size truck ever or in a while, things have gotten very, very easy. Now, of course, we have Super Cruise, which is perfect for when you're on the highway and you wanna have that hands-free, semi-autonomous driving. That is new for 2022. And then the, the uh, side mirrors, great size without looking too squared off. And you got that massive head-up display. But if you notice, you hear that? Actually, you shouldn't have heard anything because the sound deadening, the thickness of the glass, everything that they've done to this Silverado High Country really shows in that luxury side of things. And I think that's where you're really gonna enjoy it, especially when you go over, watch, like a bump here, suspension, everything just soaks it right up, super smooth. And you're not gonna be wanting for more torque because this engine has a ton of torque. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what's new for 2022 with the Silverado High Country and how it drives. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a hot desert kind of day out here in Palm Springs, California. Definitely gotta thank the whole Chevrolet team for allowing Ready's Rise access to this updated, changed up 2022 Chevy Silverado High Country. Let me know what you think. Has Chevy finally given the people, the truck lovers, what they really want? Is it still missing something? And does that equal to this being the better truck to buy over the F-150 Limited? Put your response in that comment section. Chevy is watching, so let them know how you feel. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera, no matter if it's hot, cold, sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, whatever's happening in the weather, she's gonna do the business. So show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.